Hello and welcome everyone to another StarCraft 2 England cast. Today I have got a game between um, MF Targa, who will be playing against Liquid Haypro. Haypro is the blue zerg in the top position, and Targa, he's the red zerg in the left position. So this is a ZVZ game, and I'm looking forward to it, it should be fun. Um, it is on Antigua, which means both players can take a relatively quick third base um, because it's quite easy to defend. They are close by air positions, so not cross uh, map, which is a bit of a downside because it tends to lead to more rushing, but it's a rotational symmetry map, so that shouldn't matter too much. Um, it does, however, mean though that things are a bit less fun for Haypro taking his third. It's slightly advantageous having this, it's just a bit harder to take that than down here. Um, the other things you can do is you can put investors here and actually lob infested Terrans over, which is cool. Um, and that can work the other way as well. Also, it lends itself quite nicely to airplay where they're done here, but I'd be surprised if we see a muta play, um, just because it's kind of gone out of fashion a bit with ZBZ. Um, obviously, this game is from the Hey Pro Razor Replay Pack of the Week. Um, it's from like the 23rd of May or something, like a little while back. Um, they didn't actually seem to release one this week. I don't know why. It made me sad face. But no, there didn't seem to be a game going on there, or any packs up, which was a shame. Um, really, apart from that, just not much is going on at the moment. Both players up to 15, so it looks like it's going to be a double hatch first. Um, it will be. Both players have got the drone down, they've got enough minerals. Wow! Literally identical. Like, I don't think they could have got much closer in the timing of those two hatches. That is pretty sick. Um, the Overlord here for Targa is just going to see what's going on. The Overlord for Hapro unfortunately went the other way but now knows where he is so he's going to just come back, loop around and see. A gas coming down here for Targa so that just means he's going to have speed out earlier but a pull straight away for Hapro. So Hapro playing a bit safer. Targa is like, this is the ultimate greedy build. Going hatch, gas, pull. Like, in a ZVZ that is pretty much the riskiest thing you can do um, because you're just opening yourself so up to early pressure or anything like that so um, that'll be interesting to see what happens but actually having said that the spawning pool for Hapro only a couple of seconds earlier so um, quite interesting and obviously you have to remember that Hapro only just taking his gas now so Targa will have that speed out a lot lot earlier um, which obviously is good and if also he can leave the guys in gas or just two in there to get bailing play out because obviously that's phase two of a ZBZ is you have your Ling phase initially um, then you get banings in which kind of make mass zerglings a bit useless and finally you get into roaches and then either roach hydra or roach infester are the standards um, obviously there was the option for there being um, muta mutalisks but that's quite a lot more rare quite a lot more rare quite a lot less frequent just using weird words now for the fun of it it's, it's not my fault it's a bank holiday over here in England it's our Queen's Diamond Jubilee because she's had 60 years in power um, which is quite cool. So it's been like loads of bank holidays. It's a bank holiday now. Street parties everywhere. Everyone gets drunk. It's, it's good fun. Definitely come and check out England. <laughs> or at least my stream. I was tempted to put like a picture of the Queen up in like celebration because it's actually a jubilee today. It's like a four day jubilee because why the hell not. Anyway, we've got some Zerglings coming in here for Hapro. Now I'm a bit off topic. Uh, Target is getting his Baning Nest down. Um, that Queen is going to try and pick them off. The second Queen there is there. Some nice scouting. But these two Zerglings are just kiting around the edge. They will see that Baning Nest and that's really the key bit of information you need to see. Meanwhile, Hapro is getting a Spine Crawler up at the front of his base just for defensive purposes. So Nest Target was to really, really commit really do much and these two zerglings are doing an amazing job of just seeing absolutely everything they're just not dying either but of course speed is nearly done for targa it is well roughly about 30 seconds ahead for him compared to hapro and now that was big he actually cancelled the baning list and goes straight to a roach one that is absolutely huge because of course we will see here hapro being forced to get his own baning nest down and that is really just going to mean that he needs to get, he may even go for a second spine, he'll get extra queens and all like that to defend against banings, he'll get defensive banings, and now obviously if Targa does just go for those roaches straight away, that could be really, really big. Um, 
because obviously banelings are just awful against roaches. But the downside, of course, is if Hapro does go for a lot of zerglings, which he won't now because he assumes banelings are on the field, um, they can do a lot of damage. And that zergling does manage to sneak through. There was a gap in that whole command um, line of zerglings, so he will see everything knows that that baneling nest is down. Just taking a look down here, if we take a look at the work count, 34 to 34, these players are so equally matched. 11 roaches, though, coming out here right now for Targa. Haypro is sending down these zerglings. They are going to see everything. They are just having a good little scout around to see exactly what's going on. We also Tailga does have those overall placed brilliantly. And here comes the Banelings here for Haypro, but they're going to do nothing. Unless, of course, these Roaches just completely forget. And I don't even see how he could because they ran so obviously around here. He didn't see them walk away. Instead, Target's just going to go straight up and try and do some damage. A lot of Zerglings coming in here, for, though, for Haypro. And um, really, those Roaches are on their way. Target backing this up with 20 more Zerglings. But here comes the Banelings. The Banelings and the Zerglings are going to come in. There's nothing really here for defense. Those four banings have got to get picked off so so effectively by the queens. One does go down, but here comes the zerglings, just getting a complete surround. And a baning hit does go off. It gets a couple of drones. The zerglings doing a lot of damage to those queens there. And that one baning still there is well finally goes down because he was a lot. Drones are getting taken down absolutely everywhere. Meanwhile, we've got these roaches up in the top, but they are getting surrounded. Drones are being pulled to soak up some of the damage, but this is gonna be pretty close. But meanwhile, we've got Zergling against Zergling fight going on here. Um Really, to be honest, Targa's just able to reinforce and get the defender's advantage. So far, we will see, though, Hapro having a bit more difficulty defending these roaches. He's getting a lot of Zerglings out. He's got those extra spine crawlers, but needs to be very, very careful. If we take a look at workers killed, it's 7 to 5, so it's still quite equal. And the Zerglings do get us around here for Hapro, but there's a big flood of red coming up with more Zerglings on their way for Targa. Those roaches are getting cleaned up very, very nicely at the moment. Then in comes the Zerglings. If they do get those queens, that'd be really, really big. And there's definitely an advantage in numbers here for Targa at the moment. He's cleaning up those Zerglings very nicely. But the spine crawler is getting involved. One queen goes down, and that is going to hurt the production slightly. Um, and that was a pretty big little engagement there. Baining this on its way down now for Targa. Um, meanwhile, we will see Hapro backing this up with just more Zerglings. Still two Zerglings in his base, though. Um, and Hapro is going to lose a drone or two from those. Um, there's also a Zergling run by at the natural, and Targa is just relentless with his attack here, just doing so, so much damage. Baining's being morphed in for Hapro here. Particularly look at the work skill now 13 to 5. So Targa definitely came off better there. It's now 31 to 25 workers, which is big, but this is a big push coming in from Hapro here. If we look at the loss tab, it's pretty damn close. Um, and this is going to really decide it straight away. Some defensive Baining's being morphed in here. A couple of roaches on their way out. Six more roaches and eight. Zerglings in production, but these Zerglings are on their way down. The Banings are coming in, though. The Banings are nearly going to connect absolutely hugely, but still, there's one big hit from the Banings there, and that's not good. The Baning train is going to get taken down as well, so this is a Baningless engagement now. Um, Target did a good, good job of defending that. That was really, really nice. Some Zerglings just picking off a couple more drones here. Um, really, the supply count is in Target's favour quite nicely. If you look at the work count, 30 to 30, so. Um, well, I'm not quite sure where those extra ones went. Now it's 38 to 30, so um, 10 drones in production, 4 there for um, Hapro as well, 4 roaches coming out, and this is going to be a counter push. Meanwhile, behind this target taking up his third base, and this is an epic ZVZ if I do say so myself. Um, just kind of like relentless pressure from both sides, it's something you don't see too often, um, especially in the more high level games, they don't get into like a roach late game. Um, but we've got three banings being morphed in here, they're not going to be able to do too much because there's no zerglings on the field yet, but here come in the roaches, only four roaches there for Hapro at the moment, but quite a lot of roaches there for Targa, he's trying to focus down those spines, and in come the banings, there was a transfuse, but some good baning hits do go off, but the superior roach numbers and arc is there for Hapro at the moment, the queen as well getting in on the action, and this push will get cleaned up quite nicely. Um, Meanwhile, behind this, well, you see the third base, if it does manage to go down, will be big, but looks like we're finally transitioning into a roach base, and Hapro being forced to build a lot of roaches here, um, he could move out and deal a lot of damage, because currently, well, target, he's getting out those five additional roaches, but not much else. He does have defender's advantage if Hapro does go for it. Um, we will see Hapro getting his lair up, no sign of lair yet from target at all. Um, but that third base is going to be key, because Hapro only just taking his own third base right, right now. Um, and, well, Lair just dying now for Targa. 
these roaches are on their way across the field. There's great overall placement though. Um, Tiger's overall placement is really, really nice. He's just got such good vision absolutely everywhere. This one's really key as well because that means if it were to, were to loop around, he'd still spot things. But he now knows exactly what's coming. He's getting those five additional roaches on the way out. Um, he's already got a nice ball. He's got baiting there. He's getting a macro hatch as well. Um, this third base is going to try and take some problems. And Tiger's queen really out of position there. Not quite sure what's going on there. Does die. The third base is up for Tiger. And... He needs to keep that up as best he can. Um, a couple more roaches are filtering their way in. But I think haypro has got the superior number. If you take a look here, it's 13 to 19. So definitely the superior numbers there at the moment for haypro But it just depends on how the arc goes. And really, it's going to be pretty close. Those Zerglings are soaking up some hits, which is a great little trick to use. Targi getting out a lot more Zerglings, but is actually going to go for this. Um, the better arc is there well and truly for haypro though. But here comes the Zerglings, and this will now get cleaned up very, very easily by Targa because Zerglings against Roaches in small numbers are very very effective. Um, it's also a great move to just lob a couple of Zerglings in with your Roach Ball because well Roaches attack really really slowly the Roaches will attack the Zerglings and then that basically loses a lot of DPS on your own Roach Ball so definitely worth noting. Also these Zerglings are going to be able to get us around on these Roaches and pick up a couple of additional ones which are essentially just free units and Haypro now having to suddenly defend very very quickly. Both players getting that Roach speed out and Targa just Following this up with a lot of additional Zerglings, um, we take a look at the work count. It's 50 to 41, so Targa has been ahead pretty consistently in terms of the work count throughout this game. He had his third base up sooner as well. Um, and essentially, Hapro needs to space up, he needs to drone quite heavily, but instead he's just getting a lot more roaches. Um, plus one done for Hapro at the moment. Meanwhile, no upgrades at all for Targa. I mean, I don't actually think he's got an Evo chain, but yep, he's just getting it now, so that's very, very late Evo. And essentially, those upgrades make a big amount of difference. It depends really on the composition as well, though. We will see Hapro with only roaches at the moment, but quite a few Zerglings in the mix there for Targa. He's got 16 more in production, and that's going to completely crush this push. If we look at the supply difference, it's about 25 supply advantage for Targa there. And he's going to go for it. We will see Hapro moving down, trying to get a good arc, but in go the Zerglings. As you see, they soak up a lot of damage very, very quickly, but of course, the plus one attack is there at the moment for Hapro and no upgrades at all for Targa, which means those roaches will be extremely effective against him. But the number advantage is so, so much in Targa's favour. I mean, you can just see without even looking at the count that there's just way more roaches. The Zerglings are streaming in as well. They're going to try and get us around, pick off a couple more units, and of course any and every unit that Targa manages to get there, and Hapro just leaves. He knows he's lost and he just leaves that game. So um, that was a pretty epic ZBZ. That was really intense. Um, There's hardly any gaps. So I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, follow me on Twitter, which is on screen now, at SC2 underscore England. Subscribe to my YouTube, which is youtube.com forward slash Maddles91, which is M-A-D-A-L-S-9-1. And lastly, leave any comments or criticisms in the box below. Thank you very much for watching and tune in again. Bye for now.